Alright farmers, it's Friday the 20th of January and we're back with some mods. So the first one we got today is Lapacho Trees by Team IWMM, 27.13 megabyte of the download. You're going to find these in the construction menu and under decorations and others. So we'll scroll along to find them. There we are. Basically, they're 250 each and you've got various different colours. So you've got a pink one just there. And then you've got purple. We then got the yellow. We've got a white. We then move on to the blue. We've got a green. And then the last one on the end is going to be orange. Fair enough. So if you want to make yourself a little rainbow coloured forest. Yeah, these look all right. Nice and bright. I like them. All right, next up is Big Bag Holder. This is by Graniero. 4.37 megabyte on download. You're going to find it in the construction menu and under decorations and others. So there it is, 700 to buy. And basically what this is, is somewhere that you can store big bags. So rather than leaving them on the ground, you put them on that shelf and just makes it a little bit potentially easier for you to load up. Fair enough. I mean, a little bit of a storage shed. Yeah, all right, fair enough. Right, next up is Small Shed. This is by Kazani317, 5.72 megabyte on the download. You're going to find it in the construction menu and on the buildings and sheds. So we'll scroll along to find it. They are five grand to place down. And as the name would suggest, it's a small shed. Fair enough. Obviously, you've got a bit of junk. I mean, I like the concrete done under there. You've got the cracks and all the oil stains, a bit of junk around the edge. Yeah, you're not going to be able to store much in it. But then again, the name does say Small Shed, so... Fair enough. I do like it though. The detail on that. I mean, like even the framework. That looks ace. Whilst we're on the subject of sheds, we've got sheds 44 by 16M by Raider. 5.29 megabyte on the download. You're going to find this one in the construction menu and under sheds as well. So we'll scroll along to find that one. There you are. 50 grand to place down. This is a bit bigger. So obviously you're going to be able to store more stuff underneath it. But it's a shed at the end of the day. Obviously open-sided. Long drive-through option if you've got some big headers on a trailer. You can drive through from the side with smaller equipment. Yeah, fair enough. All right, next up is Decoration Pack. This is by Pycel. 3.91 megabyte on the download. And there's 24 on this one. And they've got sort of an old school look. Old school playground look to it anyway. So you're going to find these in the construction menu and under Decorations and Others. So we'll scroll along to find the first one. There you are. So we've got Swing 1, although that's a... Seesaw in the UK anyway. All right, fair enough. You then got swing two. We then move on to swing three, which is an actual swing. We then got swing four. We then got slide one. Got slide two. Then got rocket, which is a bit of a climbing frame. We then move on to bridge. We then got a ladder for climbing. That reminds me of something I used to have in the hall at school when you're doing your PE. All right, fair enough. We then move on to gymnastic ladder or what it was called when I was growing up. Monkey bars. <laughs> if you're as old as me, you'll know what monkey bars are. We've then got sandbox. we then got stairs. we then got benches. we then got benches two. Then we've got a couple of tyres. So we've got decorative tyre one. Then we've got decorative tyre two. And then decorative tyre three. Then we'll move on because we've got heavy duty metal carpet stand one. We've got heavy duty metal stand two. we then got stick Goal post, well, goal, not goal, but it is a goal post, really, isn't it? All right, fair enough. Then got goal two. Then got an old school basketball net. And I'm stuck on top of the silo. All right, there we are. That's better. And then to finish off, we got small building. So you place these down. Obviously giving you a bit of a, I'm going to say a bit of a disheveled look. Something, you know, like a lost playground sort of vibe to it. You get yourself a ball as well. Shoot some hoops. Then come in here for a bit of a picnic afterwards. Oh, I like them. Very nice. Right, next up is Pig Shed. This is by DMI 20mm Normandy. 10.07 megabyte on the download. You're going to find these in the construction menu. And as you can imagine, under animals and pigs. So we've got two versions here. We've got a pig style large, 45 grand. That's going to hold 70 pigs. And then we've got the second one, also called pig style large. It's going to hold 100. But that is a bit larger than the first large one. Fair enough. All right, so you come over to them. Basically, you've got the same thing on the front. You've got your slurry taken out point. Now, does that come off the top? No, it doesn't. Fair enough. Then you've got your animal dialogue box just there. That one's going to hold 70. And obviously, you've got your food going in the front there. Then the same again on this one. Slurry taken out point. Animal dialogue box there. 100 in that one. 
and then food going in. You can also open up these doors if you wanted to. I've just hit myself in the face. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. How oh, I like them. Obviously in the Dutch style. Yeah, very nice. All right, next up is Grain Hopper. This is by Niku Picks, 1.2 megabyte on the download. You're going to find it under miscellaneous. Now, what this is, is basically a grain bin because it's going to hold pretty much all the loose crop that you can chuck at it, which is great. So it starts off with a 500 litre capacity, only going to cost you 750. You can change that up to a 1,000 litre capacity or back to 1,500 if you wanted to, and then back to 500. You can change the main colour. You go for whichever one you want, does the framework, and then design colour is going to do the rest of it. If you didn't want to keep the galvanised steel. I like that. I mean, you're going to need a forklift truck or something with fork handles on it. Maybe it's a front loader or a tele handle, whatever you're using. But yeah, I mean, if you want to unload a harvest wagon quickly, you know, you just need to take the last bit out of it. You've already dumped a load in the back of a trailer and just got a little bit left over. But yeah, this will sort you out. All right, next up is the bale handling pack. This is by AMG Gaming and Ian898. 5.7 megabyte on the download. You're going to find these three under Telehandler Tools. Now, basically, they've all got the same options apart from this last one where you can't change the bale size. But apart from that, they're all the same. So we'll go into it. So we've got the first one, the big bale grab. So sort of underneath and over the top grabbing hold of that one. 3,900 to buy. Then change the options of decal color, decal grayscale, or color then on this one you can change the bail type so it'll take the standard bales three by four the big bales four by four or back to standard and you've got attacher type so it comes standard as manitou jcb quick fit wheel loader or back to manitou and then frame color you go for whichever one you want changes the frame let's <laughs> stay to that spike color obviously it's going to do the spikes fair enough hydraulic color we'll go with something that stands out it's having a bit of a jump around there, I must admit, it does the hydraulic rams at the top. And then bracket colour is going to do the bracket on the back. Yeah, I'm, that green doesn't go with that pink, but all right, fair enough, we'll move on. Then we've got the big bale fork, which is basically going to be just a bale fork. Fair enough, so you've got the colour on the decals or the grey scale on the front there like that. Standard bales or big bales. And then again, the same options on the attachers. And then you've got the frame colour. The same as before, all good. And then you just pick, obviously, whichever colour you want to on all those. And we come out of that one, we go to the Super Bale Grab. Now, this doesn't have the option of changing the bale size because it's going to do round bales. Fair enough, going to hug them from the side. Again, you've got the options to change the colour on the decals, option to change the attachment, and then colours. We'll go of a light grey for the frame. Spike colour, we'll go of a yellow. Hydraulic colour, we're going to go with a blue. And then bracket colour, we'll finish it off with the pink. <laughs> a bit of everything. <laughs> dear, oh dear. Oh, I like them, M3. Got some bell jobs on the go. These are sorted out nicely. And next up, we've got the Lizard Mini 8 Plus 2. This is by Langrio Modding, 5.53 megabyte on the download. You're going to find it under plows. Now, this is going to require 150 horsepower from your tractor, 3.4 metre working width. So sort of going to keep it for small fields, small farming, really, to be fair. It's going to take you ages on a big field, but all right, fair enough. Seven mile an hour working speed, 9,700 to buy. There is no options. Obviously, that side bit folds out when you're in the field. I like that. Nice looking little plow. Yeah, very nice. As we're on the subject of plows, we've got the Lemkin Diamant 12. This is by Paisal. 6.41 megabyte on the download. And as you can imagine, you're going to find this under plows as well. It's a little bit bigger than the previous one. 240 horsepower requirement from your tractor. 4.8 meter working width. 10 mile an hour working speed. 56 grand of your hard earned coinage to buy. You then got the options to change the colour, but you can match this up. You match it up to whatever vehicle you've got. So you've got John Deere, you've got JCB, Challenger, Shooting. You go for whichever one you want. But obviously, we're going to go for the pink. Because <laughs> why not? <laughs> Excellent. And design colour, we're going to go with purple just to match it up with our usual colour scheme. Does those bits underneath. Fair enough. And then rim colour, obviously, is the rims. Ah, I like that. Very nice. 
Our next up is the Lizard Timber Loader. This is by North Martin Company. 4.98 megabyte on a download. You're going to find it under forestry equipment. Now, this is Ace. Obviously, this is going to hook up to the back of a truck. And it's going to turn it into a log grab. Oh, that's all right. 45 grand to buy. Got the options of tension belts, yes or no. Then main color. Yeah. Okay, we'll do it. <laughs> why not now it does say this is made to go with two specific vehicles from the platinum dlc the volvo fh16 8x4 and the volvo vnx 300 trident long wheel configuration right that's a long name so what you need to do with this obviously we've got the vnx 300 there there's a little bit of a thing when you first hook it up it does sort of sort it out once you detach it again but you back it in like normal Oh no, I'm going to hit the stands. Oh, here we go, my reversing. Top quality as usual. Right, so we've got there, attached there. Yeah, that's quite far back. But what you need to do is LB and RB and left stick, left and right, will then move it. Just move it into place. Now, you need to be a bit careful with this because if you move it too far forward, yeah, you, you're in the cab and you've got a pillar where you're supposed to be sitting, but... All right, fair enough. So we'll move that back out to where it should be. Just about there. Fair enough. If you do L, B and A, unfold it. This is ace because it lifts the whole vehicle up. Yeah, this is ready for some big logs. And obviously after that, you've got the usual shenanigans with moving it all about. But that is all right. I mean, we'll fold it all up. I mean, it even folds it back down. That's ace. Oh, I do like that. Very nice. And the last one for the day is the John Deere 6X20 series. This is by Virtual Farmers, with plural, so not Virtual Farmer, Virtual Farmers. 44.38 megabyte on the download. You're going to find it under medium tractors. Now, it's got 127 horsepower engine to start with, 31 mile an hour top speed, 92 and a half grand. Although we have got a five grand optional extra. <laughs> Can we get rid of that? Yeah, there we are. So the, the standard... Bargain basement price for this one is with 120 kilo front weight. But all right, fair enough. We then got the 420 kilo front weight, 620, 820, 1020, 1020 again, different shape weight on the front. Then got a 1270 weight, a three point, which is probably what most people will go for. It's going to cost you an extra five grand. And then back to another three point, actually. I just got one there normal and then one with a PTO. I'd go with the PTO, why wouldn't you? And then back to the 120 kilo front weight. And then on engines, so you've got 127, 138, 147, 162, 169, nice. 180, 190, 200, 210, and 220. And then back to the 127. So, ah, 220, that's all right. Yeah, I like that. Usual shenanigans with the wheel brands and the tyres. And then got beacon lights, no left right both or no additional work lights front back both or no fenders yes or no on the front there then we've got animation simple ic simple ic mouse control i'd imagine that's going to be for pcs don't really mean much for us on console then you've got front load attacher no john deere john deere again two john deeres all right quickie quickie again Hower. Hower again Hour again, hour again, and then back to nothing. And then you've got design colour. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that's changing the... All oh, right, that's not changing the vehicle at all. That's changing the actual front loader attacher. All right, fair enough. I like that, though. It's a nice little tractor. Very nice. Right, we've also got a new map. This is Terschelling, and it says this is a Dutch map based on an island called Terschelling. This is by Dutch Landscape, 149.49 megabyte on the download, and that looks ace for small farming, I must admit. We've got a couple of updates. We've got the Concrete Fence with Gates by Melody SZY, Cow Barn with Pasture by Missy B, 1700 kilo weight by Pycel, and the Metal Tech DB Pack by Melody 98. This is a current testing list that Giants are working on for console. There's quite a few on there. I think there's eight on there today, although Tierschling has already come out, but that's great seeing things on there for console. 
So that's your mods done for you. Drop in the comments below which one's your favourite. We'll see what people are looking at. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. It's much appreciated. But for me, that's it for today. And I'll see you in the next one.